first song she just about every bluegrass banjo player learns to play is Banjo in the Hollow. Today we'll give you several variations that are guaranteed to liven up your version. People mistakenly think Banjo in the Hollow is a traditional song. It was written by Doug Dillard, the banjo player for the Dillards, and it was featured on the Andy and Mayberry show as Doug Dillard was part of the Darling family. These are the chords the way the Dillards played it. The A part is four measures long and gets repeated. The B part is eight measures long and does not get repeated. Here is another common way that the song gets played where the B part is only four measures long and does get repeated. And this is what we'll use for our variations today. In this version, the D7 and D chords are interchangeable. So as long as your melody sounds good against either of those chords, you'll be fine. And also, if you'd like a copy of the tab for all of this, see the comments section below. Creating variations in a simple song like this will go a long way to helping you learn how to improvise in more complicated songs. So we'll define a variation as notes that sound good against the background chords. So it's good to know the background chords. The opening part of the song, the melody, against those chords and what makes a variation work is that the predominance of the notes come from those background chords. You can also borrow pieces of other songs. Here's part of Cripple Creek. Usually people have already played that. Then we'll go to a C chord. So we're no longer playing the melody but our notes still sound good against those chords. Just a quick mention on a couple of the tricky left hand fingerings you come across. One of them will be a quote from Ground Speed where we use fingers 2 and 3, ending up with fingers 1 and 3. There is also a section where fingers 1, 2, 3 play what looks to be a D shaped chord, which is actually a G chord up here at fret 7. Your pinky will reach out to create a C chord. With all that as a background, we now will play the entire song, both the melody and the five variations, all back to back at a medium fast speed. If you need to slow it down, just use the YouTube features to slow it down. An important point to remember is that not every variation works for everyone. So just pick the ones that work for you and enjoy the picking. <laughs> 